welcome back to another episode of Matins in the Morning. It is Tuesday, April 16th. That's Tuesday of the third week of Easter. My name is Nathan. I'm joined by Carrie. We're coming to you from the St. Thomas More House of Prayer, where it is our mission to pray and promote the Liturgy of the Hours. You can find out more about our retreat center over at liturgyofthehours.org. We are in Volume 2 of the Liturgy of the Hours 4 volume set, so if you're following along with the prayer book, I'm going to take us through our page numbers. You can also find this information in the description just below the video. Our opening hymn this morning will be Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. You can find it on page 546. The antiphons and psalms will come from the current day of the Psalter. Those begin on page 1397. And the readings, responsories, and concluding prayer or in the proper of seasons, beginning on page 710. As always, we'll begin with our prayer of preparation before praying the divine office. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Open, O Lord, my mouth to bless your holy name. Cleanse my heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten my understanding and kindle my affections that I may worthily, attentively, and devoutly say this office, and so deserve to be heard before the presence of your divine majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in union with that divine intention with which you praise God while you are on earth, I offer to you this hour. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, sing to Jesus. His the scepter, His the throne. Alleluia is the triumph. Is the victory alone? Hark the songs of peaceful Zion thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every nation. Has redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us. Faith believes, nor questions how. Though the cloud from sight received him, when the forty days were o'er, shall our hearts for Get his promise, I am with you evermore. Let God arise, let his enemies flee before him. Alleluia. Let God arise, let his foes be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is blown away, so will they be blown away. Like wax that melts before the fire, so the wicked shall perish at the presence of God. But the just shall rejoice at the presence of God. They shall exalt and dance for joy. O oh, sing to the Lord, make music to his name. Make a highway for him who rides on the clouds. Rejoice in the Lord, exalt at his presence. Father of the orphan, defender of the widow, such is God in his holy place. God gives the lonely a home to live in. He leads the prisoners forth into freedom, but rebels must dwell in a parched land. When you went forth, O God, at the head of your people, 
When you marched across the desert, the earth trembled. The heavens melted at the presence of God, at the presence of God in Israel's God. You poured down, O God, a generous rain. When your people were starved, you gave them new life. It was there that your people found a home, prepared in your goodness, O God, for the poor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let God, God arise, arise, let, let his, his enemies, enemies flee before, before him. him. Alleluia. Our God is, is a saving God. God. He, he the Lord, holds, holds the keys, keys of, of death. death. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord gives the word to the bearers of good tidings. The Almighty has defeated a numberless army, and kings and armies are in flight, in flight, while you were at rest among the sheepfolds. At home the women already share the spoil. They are covered with silver as the wings of a dove, its feathers brilliant with shining gold, and jewels flashing like snow on Mount Zalman. The mountains of Bashan are mighty mountains, High-ridged mountains are the mountains of Bashan. Why look with envy, you high-ridged mountains, at the mountain where God has chosen to dwell? It is there that the Lord shall dwell forever. The chariots of God are thousands upon thousands. The Lord has come from Sinai to the holy place. You have gone up on high. You have taken captives, receiving men in tribute, O God, even those who rebel in your dwelling, O Lord. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens, God our Savior. This God of ours is a God who saves. The Lord our God holds the keys of death, and God will smite the head of his foes, the crown of those who persist in their sins. The Lord said, I will bring them back from Bashan. I will bring them back from the depths of the sea. Then your feet will tread in their blood, and the tongues of your dogs take their share of the foe. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, <clears throat> is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our God, God is a saving, saving God. God. He, the, the Lord, Lord, holds the keys, the keys of death. death. Alleluia. Alleluia. Kingdoms of earth, sing, sing praise, praise to God. God. Make, Make music in honor of, of the Lord. Lord. Alleluia. They see your solemn procession, O God the procession of my God, of my King to the sanctuary, the singers in the forefront, the musicians coming last, between them maidens sounding their timbrels. In festive gatherings, bless the Lord. Bless God, O you who are Israel's sons. There is Benjamin, least of the tribes, at the head, Judah's princes, a mighty throng, Zebulon's princes, Naphtali's princes. Show forth, O God, show forth your might. Your might, O God, which you have shown for us. For the sake of your temple high in Jerusalem, may kings come to you bringing their tribute. Threaten the wild beast that dwells in the reeds, the bands of the mighty and lords of the peoples. Let them bow down offering silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Princes will make their way from Egypt. Ethiopia will stretch out her hands to God. Kingdoms of the earth sing to God, praise the Lord, who rides on the heavens, the ancient heavens. He thunders his voice, his mighty voice. Come acknowledge the power of God. His glory is on Israel. His might is in the skies. God is to be feared in his holy place. He is the Lord, Israel's God. He gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Kingdoms, Kingdoms of earth sing, sing praise, praise to God. God. Make, Make music in honor of, of the Lord. Lord. Alleluia. Christ, risen from the dead, will never die again. Alleluia. Death no longer has power over him. Alleluia. From the book of Revelation. When the Lamb broke open the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. Then as I watched, the seven angels who minister in God's presence were given seven trumpets. Another angel came in holding a censer of gold. 
he took his place at the altar of incense and was given large amounts of incense to deposit on the altar of gold in front of the throne, together with the prayers of all God's holy ones. From the angel's hand, the smoke of the incense went up before God, and with it the prayers of God's people. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with live coals from the altar, and hurled it down to the earth. Peals of thunder and flashes of lightning followed, and the earth trembled. The seven angels with the seven trumpets made ready to blow them. When the first angel blew his trumpet, there came a hail, and then fire mixed with blood, which was hurled down to the earth. A third of the land was scorched, along with a third of the trees and every green plant. When the second angel blew his trumpet, something like a huge mountain all in flames was cast into the sea. A third of the sea turned to blood, a third of the creatures living in the sea died, and a third of the ships were wrecked. When the third angel blew his trumpet, a huge star burning like a torch crashed down from the sky. It fell upon a third of the rivers and springs. The star's name was Wormwood because a third part of all the water turned to Wormwood. Many people died from this polluted water. When the fourth angel blew his trumpet, a third of the sun, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars were hit hard enough to be plunged into darkness. The day lost a third of its light, as did the night. As my vision continued, I heard an eagle flying in mid-heaven cry out in a loud voice, Woe, woe, and again woe to the inhabitants of the earth. From the trumpet blast, the other three angels are about to blow. An angel stood by the altar holding a golden censer. A large quantity of incense was given to him. And clouds of incense rose from the hand of the angel in the presence of God. Alleluia. Each angel held a vessel filled with incense, the prayers of God's holy people. And clouds of incense rose from the hand of the angel in the presence of God. Alleluia. From a sermon by St. Augustine, Bishop. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the saints. We are urged to sing a new song to the Lord, as new men ha who have learned a new song. A song is a thing of joy, more profoundly it is a thing of love. Anyone, therefore, who has learned to love the new life has learned to sing a new song, and the new song reminds us of our new life. The new man, the new song, the new covenant, all belong to the one kingdom of God, and so the new man will sing a new song and will belong to the new covenant. There is not one who does not love something, but the question is what to love. The Psalms do not tell us to not, not to love, but to choose the object of our love. But how can we choose unless we are first chosen? We cannot love unless someone has loved us first. Listen to the Apostle John. We, lo we love him because he first loved us. The source of man's love for God can only be found in the fact that God loved him first. He has given us himself as the object of our love, and he has also given us its source. What this source is you may learn more clearly from the Apostle Paul who tells us, The love of God has been poured into our hearts. This love is not something we generate ourselves. It comes to us through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Since we have such an assurance, then, let us love God with the love he has given us. As John tells us more fully, God is love, and whoever dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. It is not enough to say, love is from God. Which of us would dare to pronounce the words of Scripture, God is love? He alone could say it who knew, it, who knew what it was to have God dwelling within him. God offers us a short route to the possession of himself. He cries out, Love me and you will have me for you love me and you will have me for you would be unable to love me if you did not possess me already my dear brothers and sons fruit of the true faith and holy seed of heaven all you who have been born again in Christ and whose life is from above listen to me or rather listen to the holy spirit saying through me sing to the lord a new song Look, you tell me, I am singing. Yes, indeed, you are singing. You are singing clearly, I can hear you. 
but make sure that your life does not contradict your words. Sing with your voices, your hearts, your lips, and your lives. Sing to the Lord a new song. Now it is your unquestioned desire to sing of him whom you love, but you ask me how to sing his praises. You have heard the words, Sing to the Lord a new song, and you wish to, to, kn and you wish to know what praises to sing. The answer is, his praise is in the assembly of the saints. It is in the singers themselves. If you desire to praise him, then live what you express. Live good lives, and you yourselves will be his praise. Just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too must live a new life. And we must love one another as the Lord has commanded us. Alleluia. Let us sing the praises of the Lord. Let us sing a new song to our God. And may we must love one another as the Lord has commanded us. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, you open the kingdom of heaven to those, to those born, born again, again by water and the Spirit. The Spirit. Increase your, your gift of love in us. May all who have been freed from sins and baptism receive all that you have promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. We'll now conclude with our prayer that we pray following the divine office. To the most holy and undivided Trinity, to the humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ crucified, to the fruitful virginity of the most blessed and glorious Mary, ever virgin, and to the whole company of the saints, be everlasting praise, honor, and glory by all creatures, and to us remission of all our sins, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father, and blessed be the breast which nourished Christ the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.